Hey everyone, my name is Mrinal Kuteri. I am presently a first year MBBS student at Ains New Delhi and I secured Joint All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. And I want to talk a little bit about how to study organic chemistry. So the thing about organic chemistry is that why I kind of liked organic chemistry is because it makes sense again. I liked things which, which you could understand, which didn't simply have to be memorized. Right. So organic chemistry was one of those things. And it a lot of it may seem arbitrary at first, ki, you know, electrons and protons are going wherever the hell they want. But that's actually not how it works. There's a science to it. There's a reason to everything that happens in a reaction. So I believe like that if you try and understand why things are happening a particular way in a reaction, it will help you study better. I must admit it is a higher effort route also like it does take time and patience to truly understand mechanisms of reactions but I believe it pays off in the long run because it ensures that even if you forget the final product you actually might have might be able to derive the final product based on what you know will happen when a specific reagent attacks a molecule right and also it uh, any questions based on intermediate steps in the reaction you'll be able to solve those as well and even an entirely new reaction you may be there's a chance you might be able to solve that because you know how that particular reagent attacks like how does it work so that is why i believe it is worth it to study mechanisms so the uh, main thing about organic chemistry to a large extent it is sufficient to read from ncrt and you know just sort of learn the final end product and uh, based on that you can solve many questions but there's also quite a few that you can't solve so for that i really believe that the mechanism is important So the thing about mechanism is, uh, if you uh, refer to some other book or an institute module or uh, any online lectures, basically anything which goes beyond the scope of NCRT, you'll find a lot of extra reactions in it as well. Uh, now, whether you want to read the, um, I understand the mechanism of those extra reactions as well or not is up to you. If you do, it's obviously going to give you great benefits. But what I believe is most important is first understand the complete mechanism of the reactions given in NCRT. Every, every reaction given in NCRT, try to understand its mechanism. Uh, it's not always given in NCRT, so you may have to use other sources to get that knowledge. So please uh, do put in the time and effort to get those mechanisms right because those are the questions that are likely to come in the exam and it is therefore also likely that they can ask variations of that particular reaction. The other thing I did, which is again something I did personally, is that I used to solve uh, JEE level questions of organic chemistry, of well, basically physics and chemistry. So organic chemistry was included in that. And if you look at the JEE level questions, you will uh, see how you can come up with variations in a question. Like a common variation, which I think sometimes has been asked in NEET also, is that instead of hydrogen, if the reagent has deuterium, where will the deuterium atom go and like will it be in in which at which position in the final product will you find it so this is one type of variation there's countless variations possible and these are like commonplace in um, je of course but not so common need but when those questions do come it can be the um, differential factor it can be what makes the difference between uh, you and someone placed below you or above you if you didn't get that question. So I do believe it is worth it to read mechanisms and also to solve a few higher level questions. The last thing I'd like to say about reading organic chemistry is that be, uh, like everything I've uh, said so far is about going beyond the scope of NCRT, right? But it goes without saying that NCRT is obviously important. Like you know that it's the omega book for neat preparation. So uh, do not neglect NCRT. Particularly there's, there are again as in any subject there's also some theory involved like some 
स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड डिरेक्ट थियोरेटिकल क्वेश्चन विच आर पिकड अप फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई रिमेम्बर इन जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दज अ टॉपिक क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वान्टिटेटिव एस्टिमेशन क्वान्टिटेटिव एस्टिमेशन अगेन यू कैन काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड दिस लॉजिक बट क्वालिटेटिव नॉट सो मच इट फील्स अ लिटल लाइक रीडिंग इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड देन देर आर सेपरेशन टेक्निक्स की वन इन दैट चैप्टर हाँ दैट टू ऑल ऑफ दीज इन्वॉल्व अ लॉड ऑफ थियोरी एंड दे रिक्वायर कॉन्स्टेंट रिविजन इट इज kind of volatile it's easy to forget so do ensure that you're revising those things from time to time so read ncert reading ncert will ensure that you revise these theoretical questions and also that you uh, uh, remember the end products of the important reactions now i did mention ki reading mechanisms will help you derive the end product but neat is also about saving time in the exam right because you don't you may not have the time to derive the product of every reaction so you need to be able to save time for the really difficult questions or for you to bubble your paper or to check once whether you've done everything right so reading ncert ensures that the end product the important aspects of a reaction are on your fingertips so you can answer those questions quickly so the last thing is so this is what i have to say about reading organic chemistry it's again generalized but i do believe that it is really useful if you go beyond the scope of ncert as well for this subject uh, that's it thank you very much good luck with your preparation